And y'all already knew what this egg was supposed to go on top of. Rice. So this is some leftover rice. And I think I had everything seasoning in it. And then I put soy sauce and the egg on top. Threw on some cucumber. This rice bowl today was like really simple and basic. And some kimchi. And then I put sriracha and QP mayo. Hot JK. That's definitely sesame seeds. And my homemade hot sauce. And then we put on the QP mayo and the sriracha. And then I was editing a video while eating. And then for dinner, I made a pasta of random things that was in the refrigerator. All right, breakfast. I have the most random situation here i had leftover rice some greens that needed to be used some random little i don't remember what these peppers are called some pickled onion tomato guacamole i have my homemade hot sauce somewhere in here and i put hemp parts on top and then i have this my latest obsession blueberry Acai pomegranate tea. And for dinner, we have another clean out the fridge meal. I was contemplating the entire day what to make and I couldn't think of anything. And then I saw a TikTok and I was like, oh, I can make that. So I made Korean pancakes because I had all the base ingredients and this bag of coleslaw that needed to be used. So yeah, and I had dried uh, what are these? Dried chives. My mom bought me this kombucha to try. It tasted more like a sparkling lemonade. And then I've got my pancakes with a little moonlight chicken. And for breakfast, I just had the pancakes from the night before with QP mayo and sriracha, and that's dumpling sauce. And then I am slowly transitioning my room, trying to get into that spring spirit. So this is what I've done so far. All of the holiday decorations are gone. <laughs> and then this is what I wore to go get Andrea from school. It's now Andrea's birthday and mom made a cute breakfast and this is the fit that I wore to dinner all black of course everything stretchy because you know we were about to go in on the food at the restaurant which you will see in just a minute 
and I added the glasses because you know I feel like the outfit was missing a little something something and then I just have on Vans fit check fit check fit check and I love these sunglasses and we all look cute for our happy birthday and this is us trotting on into the restaurant okay decor it's giving and this is the food the main event the most important part of the entire day uh, we ordered every sushi roll on the menu, obviously, and we have some onigiri, we have some, what else is on this table? Everything on the black plates was from the grill, so we had scallops, grilled garlic, grilled broccoli, this elotes, oh my god, it's life-changing. They put like soy butter on it, and it was so, so good. This tuna tataki, mm, just everything as you can see was just a 10 out of 10 and then they gave us some free desserts for the birthday girl thank you And for breakfast, I made some rice to go with these leftover mussels in like a garlicky, caper, lemony cream sauce that Sarah had brought home the night before. And it was so good, as you can see. And then for dinner, we had little sliders. These are beyond patties and my mom just cut them in half. And then we have fries. I put truff hot sauce and some plant-based Parmesan cheese and all these pickled veggies that i made myself thank you and yeah that was that was dinner and then the next day straight to dinner we literally just had mac and cheese for dinner so these are the cheeses that i used and yeah we had mac and cheese and i didn't show but we had like green beans as well and yeah she was not plant-based the milk was plant-based. It was almond milk. But uh, that cheese, straight from a cow. But yeah, that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please click my face if you would like to subscribe. And just go ahead and watch like every single video that I've ever uploaded. Uploaded? Uploaded because I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to shut up now. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you in the next one.